So I build this cascade with an Arduino. The LEDs show you the pattern. Um, there are six outputs coming out of the Arduino, and this happens to be to be the pattern necessary for a DC motor controller. Right now it's going pretty slow, so you can see. Um, and one interesting, if you notice the motor, it is going clockwise. Now, if I just reach down and swap two of the wires, two of the three wires going to the motor, it reverses the rotation. This works exactly like a uh, three-phase AC motor and it basically is a three-phase AC motor only these motors are made to to work off of a DC square wave that is three-phase exactly like the AC counterpart so this motor I rated it out of a Samsung CD drive for a computer and this is the actual motor that actually spins the CD here's the chip that actually drives the thing. It's fairly uh, complex. It's a little uh, Toshiba chip that is the DC motor controller. What this is really called is an ESC, electronic speed control. You can buy them commercially for like model airplanes that uh, can handle a lot of current to run the the motors. I'm not suggesting that this Arduino is a good ESC but it is a good demonstration and a good uh, learning tool to help you understand uh, how the ESC works. Here I've slowed it down to one second <clears throat> pulses. You can see that two are on at the same time. Three of the uh, LEDs uh, are indicating positive and three are negative so there's they're right next together there's positive negative positive negative positive negative now routed to these three wires so at any one time there'd be positive on one side and negative on another wire and it switches to positive on one negative on the next it just kind of runs through it all right let's open up the Arduino sketch real quick I'll show you how it works. Um, these are called LED 1, 2, 3, 4 through 6 because I started with the blink sketch. Um, you could call these variables whatever you want. But essentially we have six variables we're declaring as integers. We're assigning them to the discrete 0 through 5. Right here we take all, all six of them and we declare the mode for these pins to be an output. Now we go to the loop. Essentially all we're doing is we are turning, we're keeping two pins on at all times. So here we turn one on, we wait for a delay, we turn six off, two on, one off, three on, two on, two off four on so it cascades down and one is going to be two of them will be hot at all times so when we look at the circuit um, what we essentially do is we make three every other one so starting with one this will be a negative three is a negative and five is a negative then 2 is positive, 4 is positive, 6 is positive. So at all times 1 will be positive and 1 will be negative so voltage will be going through one coil then it will switch and it will be going the other way through this coil and it switches and keeps on going around turn, creating the three phase square wave that's needed to run the brushless DC motor so here is the schematic. By the way, these files, you can download them at filer.com if you like them. So it's pretty simple. We have the Arduino. We're coming off the first six outputs. And for starters, 
this right here is really nice when you're troubleshooting. We go through some resistors and then some LED lights. So you can watch the cascade go through and you know it's working. Then all you got to do is you go through six more resistors to some transistors. And here let me show you like I stated before. This is the positive rail and we have one, two, three transistors that are positive and it, it'll cascade through and then here is the negative rail and we have one, two, three that are negative and then you tie them together to the three phases of this motor this picture of a motor is not accurate this would actually be in a Y formation but this is all the better I could do with my schematic program that's about it